All right, so, how you doing, sir? Good, I'm doing awesome. Good. So, it's Lauren Lockman. I'm here at Tanglewood. I'm sitting here with Chase. Chase is, um, is going to be leaving us after five weeks here. On your way home tomorrow. Well, on well, your way to the beach. I'm going to the beach. Beach, that's not bad either. Uh, and from there, on the way home. Um, so, Chase, talk to us a little bit about why you decided to fast, what your experience was like. I mean, first of all, what, what made you decide to spend 26 days only drinking water? Why'd you do that? Yeah, so um, I've been, I've had a lot of health issues that I've dealt with, um, I've had to deal with throughout my life, and uh, it put, set me on a path towards um, trying to get as healthy as possible. Okay, got it. And um, eventually, I, you know, I became a vegan, and then I was eating a whole food plant-based diet, and then um, eventually I, I realized I wasn't, um, I wasn't feeling as good as I, as I thought I should. Yeah. And um, I started deciding, I, uh, people talked about a raw vegan diet, um, but I just thought it was, I was gonna get deficient in something. Finally, I decided I'm just gonna try it. Yeah. Try it for a month. Right. And, um, I felt so good, and then I found your videos and just kind of binge watched them. <laughs> uh, that's kind of how I do things when I learn something. I like just dive right in, and it just made so much sense. Um, and then, yeah, just eating um, fruit and simple salads really was amazing. And so, yeah, I just I was intrigued. Um, to see, I, I did done some fasting on my uh, on my own. I did some dry fasting, and and actually, I, I I saw your video about dry fasting and how it it doesn't make sense that it would be healthy. Right. And it made it made so much sense. Um, so I just really I did some water fasting on my own, um, but I just wanted to I wanted to I wanted to do it right and just see what the difference would be. Got it. And yeah, it was. It was way different doing it, doing it here and drinking that extra water. Um, I didn't drink nearly enough water, and I was taking electrolytes when yeah. I did it on my own. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. Um, so so you, you fast on your own for how long? So the longest one I did was the twenty-one day. Twenty-one. Okay. And this was twenty-six days, but if you were to compare your experience here with your experience at home, what would you say about the differences? Well, for one, um, I I didn't take off work. Um, I, I decided I was gonna, you know, I was gonna rest as much as I could, and I was gonna drink as much just w regular water as I could. But when I was gonna have to do something, maybe I'd take electrolytes to to try to wake up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and just having to not worry about anything. Yeah and was 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 huge i mean putting that stress on my body while i'm working was i i think i i, I wouldn't want to do it again yeah like sure, sure sure um okay yeah so so, so to be able to just focus on and just to take the time for me to take time off of work even that in itself was really good so then to, the fasting on top of that um Awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. And, and how was your experience here? What did you think of being here at Tanglewood? Yeah, I mean, so I looked at other centers, you know, I, I, I looked into... Are there other centers? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I looked into, like, True North, um, but, you know, they, uh, they drink distilled water there, and it's in a hospital, and I really love the idea of being out in the open with fresh air and drinking spring water. Um, the water is was tasty it's amazing um, yeah. so I think that's really huge um, compared to drinking my reverse osmosis at home I feel like that was uh, a lot more enjoyable um, yeah so yeah I and then the weather for me was like I was walking around. Well, actually, when I was fasting, I, I wore a shirt. Right. <laughs> but as soon as I broke, right. first time I've seen you with a shirt on in about two weeks. Now. <laughs> right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Once I once I started once I broke my fast, then it was just like hair was down, swimsuit, <laughs> and yeah, because it's so it's just the weather for me. It feels perfect here pretty much every day. Uh, maybe there was a couple days where I felt, you know, I needed to wear a long sleeve. But yeah, and we and we do have. 
times during the year where it's, I mean, this is the dry season, so it's blue skies and sunshine most of the time. There's some times in the rainy season where it might rain for two or three days. It feels, starts to feel a little chilly. It's not really cold, but it starts to feel a little chilly because we're not seeing any sun. Um, but yeah, you, we've had perfect weather here, right. practically. Yeah, and how did you like the place itself? I, it's beautiful. Um, just walking around, the trails here are so cool, and just all the vegetation. Um, and then just uh, this area of Costa Rica is so cool because of all the mountains, and I don't get that in Minnesota, so. Not so much. <laughs> and you know, I really actually, I like the 12 and 12 hours of darkness and light kinda. Yeah. Yeah. I was a good chance to get my sleep schedule on right. track. Like, right. there's something beautiful about going to bed when the sun goes down, and getting up when the sun yeah. gets up. Um, and yeah. I think that there's something re really nice about that. Um, I guess the other thing I really, I really liked about fasting here versus on on my own was that there was times when I was worried. You know, like, it, it, am I okay? Yeah. Right? And yeah. to have you know, I have Lauren, I have to have you. Checking my vitals every day, um, and talking about and, what's going on. And, yeah, and and if I if something came up, I you know I I could I had someone to talk to. Right. Um, I, I'm telling you what you think. I suspect for many people, having the supportive community of other people around also makes a difference. Oh yeah, I mean definitely having other people around that are doing the same thing as you. Right. I mean that's that's huge. Right. Um, for sure. Because uh, then, because not only is it support for support from you, but it's support from everyone else. That's know? right. It's like we're all on the same team. Well, and th this is probably in, in and of itself perhaps not a good enough reason to come here, but uh, we also attract a base of people here. So I, I'm guessing you're going to leave here with people you're going to be in touch with. And oh yeah, yeah. I'm already the so a lot of the people uh, did a shorter fast than me. But I'm already uh, Facebook friends with them, and I've already been talking to them. And yeah. uh, one of the people here uh, asked me to be their uh, raw vegan sponsor, you know, because they're they're worried they're going to slip up. And I, awesome. So um, yeah, it, I, I made a lot of great friends, and uh, one of the guys I met, I'm a master's electronic album. Um, awesome. So he's like a musician. Uh, so yeah, it's very it's, cool. It's great. Good. Um, yeah, everyone. Everyone was really good. The, the, everyone had really good energy, which is important. Um, I think because when you're fasting, you it's it's just you really don't want to have any of that negative energy around. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen. Is there is there anything else you'd like to share? You know, one of the things that was really great is um, that I didn't I didn't expect is that you know we did so we do a meditation mm. four times a week and then. Lauren, uh, he, uh, you, I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, reads out of this book. Um, I don't know if I want to give it. Can it's I give okay. It? Yeah. Yeah. It's called Love Without Conditions. And I, I, I came for the fasting and, and the food, obviously, because I'm, I'm a fruitarian and the food's amazing. I didn't talk about that. Uh, it's amazing. I wish I could. Anyway, but the, uh, the, the Love Without Conditions, like, has been like a spiritual awakening for me that I didn't expect. So that was like a, a hidden plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting. I mean, for me, I think the spiritual aspect is the most important piece. But it's not why most people come here. And so we kind of sneak it in a little bit. Yeah, I, I thought it was, I mean, I, and maybe, yeah, doing it with the fasting, I think there's something about when you're in a fasted state, like your brain, like you're, there's some, you're pure, like something, there's some purity. Maybe going a little on. more open and receptive. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, yeah, I just feel like you learn a lot about yourself because you have so much time to reflect. Yeah. It's just, you got, you got time. Lots of time. You got a lot of time. No doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. I see you brought your folder. Did you want to talk about that? Oh, well, I just, I know we got to do the, uh, we got to do that. Let's, let's take a look and see what's, what's changed since we've got this here. Yeah. Let's see, first of all, we'll, we'll talk a little later, but I see that your, uh, your blood pressure today, uh, your spread is up. This is good. This means Chase has more blood today than he had yesterday, right? Blood volume's up a little bit. That's good. Uh, body's retiring 2 million blood cells a minute on average, and so it's going to need water to replace those. Your pulse is down as a result of that. Your temperature's down a little bit. Oxygen's up a little bit. That's good. Your blood sugar is even better than it was. That's fine. Your weight is down a little bit from last week. 
Um, I'm guessing that's mostly bowel movements. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that that's something that maybe I should bring up. Sure. Yeah. So I so Lauren talked about um, uh, getting rid of old material. Right. And I was really skeptical because I've never heard about I've never heard about this before, and right. I looked it up online. There's no information about it. Right. Um, and so I, I, my spread was bad and he's keep telling me to drink more water and like by the end of it I was drinking like 14 glasses a day and I'm like, you know, like I started to get a little kind of frustrated um, But I'm really glad I did because wow um, I eliminated some stuff that was definitely I I mean It was hard and it was and it was hard because like it was Civil hard. War era Yeah <laughs> I mean, it, like I, it, I've been eating a, a fruitarian diet for a long time, so I haven't had anything like that. Um, right. Anyway, I and and I heard the people a week before that broke my fat, broke their fast. They were talking about it, so I was like, oh my god, is it real? And then when I, anyway, it's real, and uh, I'm really glad I have it out of me. <laughs> yeah, it, I, mean, it, I really believe it makes all the difference. In the world. Like it's the key factor. Getting that stuff out of your body changes everything because now you're going to assimilate nutrients much better. You're going to need less food. You're going to be much more efficient. You're going to have fewer aches and pains. You're going to be able to stay hydrated, which was impossible before. Right. Right? Impossible. Uh, if we look at your level of hydration, you came in higher than most, but are leaving even higher than that. Right? And that's yeah. and, and honestly, because up until now, you're still eliminating some old material, your hydration still is has a, it's going to go way up over the next. Yeah, six I've weeks. been eliminating a lot, like last again, like four or five times, like during the night. <laughs> right. It's and yeah. Not what typically happens if you're eating four fruit meals a day. <laughs> right. Right. Anyway, yeah. looking good. Um, everything here looks really positive. Your your muscle mass is uh, is still down a bit, but how are you feeling? You I feel amazing. Yeah. I mean, I. I, I, you know, I was, I felt pretty good before. Right. And, uh, yeah. You Lauren, came in fit and strong. And Lauren said, you know, um, you're going to feel even better. And I was like, you know, come on. I felt so good. Right. I feel so good. And I mean, I, I'm sure it's a combination of the, the body and, you know, the, the, the spirituality, the spiritual growth. I mean, I, I just, I'm, I'm a completely different person. Well, it's going to keep getting better over the next six weeks. And six weeks from now, we'll have a call and we'll check in and see how you're doing. Yeah? Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Yeah, happy, happy to we'll, do it. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again sometime.